Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Tiger Gaming here today, guys. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the legendary Porsche 959 in the upcoming Forzathon. So yeah, this Forzathon starts in one day, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty sick Forzathon. Um, looks like if you do 30 Lumberjack skills in the Warthog, you get 120 grand, so not bad. And uh, three stars and three drift zones gets you three wheel spins as well. But yeah, everyone's going to be going for the Porsche 959, obviously. So yeah, we'll go over to the achievements here for a real quick second here. Where exactly is it? Here we go. And then we'll go down here. And they actually finally updated the Forzathon uh, event lists here. So it lists all the upcoming Forzathons, which is actually a lot. So uh, yeah, let's see. As you can see, there's a ton of them here. So running late, as you can see, if you pull up the screen there. Uh, the Forzathon, oh my god, the upcoming Forzathon in the game, then you can check the names of the achievements to make sure you're on the right thing here. So yeah, this is this week's, um, looks like it's starting on the 21st to the 24th, so yeah, pretty sweet. And then, uh, yeah, so as you can see here, I'm just going to make sure, win a championship to win the Porsche 959, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. And then the next one here starts on 28th to the 1st. Oh my god. Um, complete a championship in the Aston Martin DB5 to win Porsche 911 Turbo 3.3. Well, it's sick. Bunch of awesome Forzathons coming up. But, uh, yeah, as you can see here, guys, we're going to be winning a bunch of Porsches coming up uh, pretty soon. So, it's actually awesome. So, yeah, win a race in a Porsche, receive a barn find rumor. So, I can pretty much guarantee you guys right now that that's going to be a uh, Porsche barn find. If it's not, I'll be really surprised. But it's probably going to be a classic Porsche. And actually, if you check out my other video that shows you guys how to um, see future coming cars, I'm pretty sure that they probably added it in there. So you guys can go take a look at that and you'll probably find it. But yeah, another... Uh, let's just... Uh, oh my god, I can't talk again. Um, back to the point here. I'll show you guys how uh, you can probably com uh, complete a championship like the fastest way. So yeah, pretty much any um, championship in the downtown area city area it's going to be like pretty short races usually and i actually just unlocked this one here and it looks like the starting race already is pretty short so yeah we're going to go over there and i'll just kind of show you guys what the uh, championship events look like to make sure you complete it as quickly as possible and i'll also show you how to make it as easy as possible for you guys as well so yeah we'll just go in here and then we'll select championship obviously and then you can pick kind of like the standard ones Horizon, oh, that's uh, the one my friend made. But yeah, as you can see, there's the one, like, uh, that's already been, uh, that's like the preset one from the game. But yeah, so you can go and pick, like, literally whatever you want here. So you can just go to, like, anything goes. And I would highly recommend, guys, just picking um, the car that's most comf uh, comfortable for you to drive. Like, the one that you've been doing the most race okay. with. Just so okay whoops you can like edit the championship and stuff and put different races but that doesn't really matter so yeah we'll just create the blueprint there and then now you can just select uh the car you want so let's see here i'll just go to so yeah there we go you can see now th that's what the championship events looks like so it looks like there's going to be like three races in this one so yeah i'm not really sure what car i'd be comfortable driving with i haven't really done racing like campaign racing in a long time so i'm just gonna pick like something i don't even know oh let's pick the bentley continental super sport i think should be pretty good handling all around but uh yeah like i said just pick a car that you race a lot in online campaign racing and you're really comfortable with and are good at racing in and then, yeah, just pick that, set up the championship, and then I'll show you guys what settings to change to make it as easy as possible as well. It's pretty straightforward, guys, but just in case you didn't know or you're new to this or whatever, just trying to make it as easy as physically possible for you guys to win the epic Porsche 959, so you're probably one of the most legendary cars ever created. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys here in just a sec. Come on, hurry up. All right, so we're going to go to difficulty. And then, obviously, oh, my drive guitar is already, like, complete garbage. So, yeah, I I usually race on above average competitively. Well, just for, like, a slight challenge. But, like, easily you could go to, like, expert or highly skilled. They're not really that difficult. But, yeah, I'd put it on, like, new racer, inexperienced. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to put on a new racer to make it as easy as possible. Oh, and then you're probably definitely going to want to have your traction control and stability control on. And then, 
everything else just leave the way you like it. So yeah. And you're gonna save that. I don't know what the options over here does. I think this is just like, oh, it's controls and stuff like that, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I don't think you can, you can't really change um, the amount of laps, so you're just gonna have to go with the amount of laps that it gives you. But usually the city races are pretty short. Let's see how long this race is gonna be. Is it gonna say how many laps I need to do here? Okay, so one out of three, so that's not too bad. Usually city races are pretty short. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I finish this race. Um, I would I would make sure you come in first um, because it does say, I think it says either complete a championship or win the championship. So I would try and make sure you win every single um, champ championship uh, event race just to uh, ensure that you guys do get the, uh, oh crap, I missed that chest point. Fail. Yeah, just to make sure that you guys get the achievement, I'd make sure that you win every single race in the championship. So, yeah guys, I'll be back with you once I complete this race, just to show you guys what other championship races look like and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so we won this championship here. I mean, uh, not the championship, we just won the race here. So yeah, we'll continue everything here, get past everything, and you guys already saw when she kind of like went over the... Like, it kind of shows you each uh, championship event, like, on the map. They kind of just, like, she goes over it quickly. But, yeah, I'll just show you guys again quickly just to make sure you're doing the right races every time. Because you may end up doing, like, completely different races by accident without you even knowing. So, yeah, the championships, don't get confused with Horizon Festivals. But uh, they're bigger emblems. So, like, this one here, this is part of your uh, championship. And it'll actually, uh, it'll actually say on the top uh, status bar thing there in yellow, it'll say Active Championship. So, that's how you know um, what that championship is. So, yeah, here's another one over here. I think there's only, like, three in this one. So, yeah, pretty quick. Should be really easy to get this achievement. I don't think you have to be online. I don't even know if you can do, like, championship races online or not. But, uh... Yeah, didn't, the achievement didn't say anything about being online, so... Yeah, you guys just complete those three races and then probably get the achievements. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's pretty straightforward, but uh, just uh, wanted to show you guys anyway in case you didn't know or are new to the game. But uh, yeah, I'll just make sure here it doesn't say online. I'm pretty positive it doesn't. But no, it just says won a championship in the Porsche... Uh, I mean, to win the Porsche 959. So, yeah, pretty sweet. I don't think the Porsche 959 has been in any Forza Horizon. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet that we can win that. Uh, let me guys know if it has or not, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't. But, yeah, anyways, guys, peace out. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.